I uh, began in the mass spectrometry field as a, a PhD student at the University of Florida where I really was heavily involved in instrumentation development and mass spectrometry. From there I moved to, to take a postdoc position at the University of Virginia with uh, Don Hunt. Um, the Hunt lab was very interested in sequencing phosphopeptides. The technology at the time was ion traps with collisional activation. The problem with collisional activation of phosphopeptides are that you typically have a difficult time sequencing the phosphopeptide. So the idea was that we could use ion-ion chemical reactions to impart an electron-based dissociation rather than a collisional-based dissociation. And so I began to work on this project to develop an instrument that would react cations and anions and um, see if we could get ETD to work. It turned out that we were able to make ETD uh, work in an ion trap mass spectrometer. It was about that same time and came here to the University of Wisconsin where I started my own research group. In our group, we have focused on continuing to advance ETD technology and the, the most recent works that we've been involved in is uh, collaborative works with Thermo to implement ETD technology on the uh, Orbitrap mass analyzer. This is the second Orbitrap system that here in Wisconsin we modified the new ETD. So if we open up the door and take a look, essentially you have the ion trap in this box. The linear ion trap resides right down here. Right under here we have the C trap and behind that is the Orbitrap. Behind the C trap is a collision cell and that comes on the Orbitrap XL system and what we have done is to simply affix a multiple device to the back of this collision cell that attaches from here and goes to this box where is a chemical ionization source. So anions for ETD are made back here. The anions, they come through this multiple, they pass through here, through the collision cell, through the C-trap, and into the back of the ion trap under here where ion-ion reactions occur, we do ETD. Those product ions can be mass analyzed right in that ion trap for speed and sensitivity or they can be injected into the C-trap and then into the orbit trap where they can be mass analyzed in here with ultra high resolution and mass accuracy. Ten years ago when I began my graduate studies in mass spectrometry, I would never have imagined that we could sequence a whole protein in less than a second, mass analyze those product ions to the third or fourth decimal place with sub part per million mass accuracies, a couple hundred parts per billion and to acquire extensive backbone fragmentation and, and really to fully characterize a whole protein in one second. You know, it's an exciting to think 10 years from now will we be able to sequence 100,000 Dalton protein in one second uh, using uh, these technologies and, and their um, uh, future implementations. And so I think that's very exciting and uh, a goal that we're all working toward my lab, many other labs across this country and, and across the world that have uh, really made where we are today um, uh, possible.